Hello and welcome to another episode of Dewcraft TV. Today we're joined by Lou Collins, who's going to show us a great gift idea using the Papermania Bear Basics Giant Peg and the Heritage Press Collection. Hi Lou, welcome along. Hi Katie. What are we going to do today? We're going to alter a peg. Ooh. For a man, men's gifts are really difficult. Yeah. So what I'm going to do first is take it apart. And this is one of the Bear Basics pegs, this isn't it? This is a Bear Basics peg, yeah. It's like, wonderful because it is bare wood. You can do anything to it. I mean, you can leave it, it. You can leave it bare. It's a beautiful colour. It's really smooth. There's no splinters or anything no. in it. But I'll just quickly get the spray. It doesn't take moments to dry, really. That's I've got good. my heat gun here. So I'm just going to spray. Actually, that's drying as we watch, isn't it? it yeah, you because, see the colour because of the natural wood, it's absorbing that really quickly. There we go. I'm just going to flip it over. Turn over. This side isn't quite so important, but we'll do it more so we get the sides of the peg. OK, make sure we get in the top. There Lovely. Like you say, you can see that drying yeah. almost instantly. So what I'll do is I'll just pop those to the side while I wipe clean on that. Now this is brilliant, this little uh, sort of uh, non-stick sheet we're using here. This is actually a, a cake making accessory from the Little Venice Cake Company range. Um, obviously, you could you make do your icing on this. Maybe not the same one you've just spritzed on. Probably but, not. No. <laughs> it's probably not recommended. But they do wash up really well. Yeah. I mean, I'm just using regular baby wipes yeah. and some kitchen towel. It's perfect, doesn't it? Keeps your, your worktop all clean, and it's like you say, it's, yeah. it's an easy clean up as well. So we're going to put this spring back on now. Good, good. So you can see where the little bar bit goes, can't we? Yeah. Know? So it's, I mean, it's really simple. You can see that that bit sits in the groove there. Oh yeah. So I'm going to use some of these decoupage sheets. Now this is the Country Gent, isn't it, in yes. the Heritage Press collection? Yes, these are wonderful. I'm not actually using a whole sheet either, so there'll oh, still be some left good. afterwards. You what don't always need all the layers, do you? I mean, you, you get don't. actually multiple layers to give you a nice dimensional look, but you can always sneak one out. They're beautiful you? if you works. use them all together, but if you can separate them, you get more out of them. Yeah. And this is like a really nice sort of tweedy sort of jacket here, isn't it? And there's it also the, the City Gent option as well, so if you've got more of a... If you're the male recipient you're going to send it to, sort of more of a sort of a, where's a suit to work, perhaps this might be a good choice for them. It'd look lovely on your, on your desk at work, wouldn't it, for a, for it a dad do. or a husband? So I'm going to just pop that right in the centre over my peg and use a pencil to lightly mark whereabouts I need to cut that to. You can leave a little bit overlapping as well, it doesn't hurt. Go. Lovely. What I'm now going to do is cut this out. So we've just cut the shirt bit out there, haven't yeah. we? So we'll pop that at the top. So I've got my trusty hot glue gum. It's always good to use something like this when you're making a, a gift item, isn't it? Because it's going to be handled. It gives it a really strong hold. It, I mean, have you ever accidentally glued something down and then tried to lift it up again? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. It's definitely a stronghold. And with this one, I'm actually going to cut it out down the centre. Yeah. So what I wanted to do is afterwards I want to add buttons. So what I want is his buttons overlapping oh, I see. with the, the button holes. You're making it a little bit so, narrower, aren't yeah, you? Yes, so slightly thinner, and it'll still pop over your shirt like that. That looks great. So, just to mark it, instead of using pencil marks this time, I'm just going to fold it. Oh, that's and that great. And gives me a line. There we go. That looks great. So, that's the piece, one of the pieces will be needed. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. I'll just pop some of these off to the side. Don't get them confused with what we're doing. <laughs> Before I stick these down, I want to add a, a trouser effect. Sheet. Oh, yeah, of course. So we've got these pattern paper packs. I'm just going to use the A5 pattern paper pack okay. because I'm only going to use a tiny little bit, so there's no point cutting into an A4 no. sheet. And you've also got the scaled patterns as well, haven't you? If you get got both exactly, sizes, so yeah. the stripes on the A4 pack are sort of Slightly wider, smaller. aren't they, than, yep. than this yeah. one, yeah. Here's my hot glue gun again. And of course you can stick over this 
this bar here, not a problem. Of course, because it doesn't hinge, does it? The, no. the hinging is done in the middle here. So, so it can stay there. All right, so pop, start to pop these ones on. Getting dressed? Yeah. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Very nice. Craft knife there, so I'm just going to slit up in there and make oh, sure I that see. I can tuck a little bit of twine. Oh, that's there. his little pocket there. That'll be his little pocket. Got yeah. So there we go. In a moment. So that's, I mean, that's your basic. You can build that up as you like now. So we've got another um, bow tie bow there. Bow tie, yeah. I'm just going to put the glue in the centre. I see, yeah. Gives it a little bit of lift. Very nice. <laughs> it's very cute. Yeah, good. What, I've, I've used some of these buttons, actually, because they're slightly more to scale. Oh, yeah. So these are the spots and stripes in the jewels, aren't they? Yes. Because if you didn't want dotty buttons, these they obviously on the other side. You they're can plain, flip them they? over, so you yeah. Get sort of twice the effect, which is good. Right, now I was talking about the po pocket watch. Oh, yeah. What I'm actually doing, I'm taking one from one of the decoupage sheets. Okay. I've popped it out. I'll just take this little handle piece out there with my knife. I'm going to use, this is some of the twine from the Gorgeous collection. Ah, oh, yes. I'll cut a long piece to start with. I'm just going to use the end, very end of my, my knife just to pop this, tuck it under into his pocket. Thread this through. It's always a little fiddly. <laughs> because I've got ink all over my hands. <laughs> you know you've had a good time crafting oh, if yes. you're all inky. <laughs> Definitely enjoyed it. So I'm going to actually tie that on. Not too tight because you don't want to cut through the paper no. or anything. But There we go, secure that. Very nice. I just need, need to choose a sentiment to go over the top of them. There we go. So there's, oh, there's a, a good whole one. range of sentiments in there to choose from. That's a lovely one. That is it. Very Fantastic. simple. I mean, that's taken me five, ten minutes. That was so. so quick. I mean, they're great for something like a stocking filler or um, just a quick gift from, from the children, Father's Day. Yeah, perfect. Anytime. Wonderful. And like we said, there's all sorts you can, you can use that for. So I think that would always be very well received, I think. Yes. Thanks, Lou. That's brilliant. What a wonderful present no for problem, somebody. Thank you. Um, as you can see, Lou's project would make a fantastic little add-on for Father's Day. So if you've been creating for Father's Day too, we'd really like to see what you've been making. Why not upload your card or gift that you've created to docrafts.com and we'll take a look. Maybe send us a link to tv at docrafts.com and we could feature your project on a future episode of Docrafts TV. You can find all of Lou's instructions and a supplies list of all the bits and pieces she's used at docrafts.com as well. So pop over and take a look. Until next time, happy crafting. Yeah.